A powerful new microbe has just been discovered aboard China's Tiangong space station, and it's unlike anything seen before. Named Nialia tiangongensis, this tiny organism can survive intense radiation, repair its own DNA, and adapt to life in orbit. Scientists are calling it a breakthrough in space biology. But how did it get there? What makes it so special? And what does it mean for future space missions and life on Earth? Let's break it all down. The discovery of Nialia tiangongensis marks a groundbreaking moment in space biology. It all began with a mission-specific program called CHAMP, the China Space Station Habitation Area Microbiome Program, designed to investigate the microbial life forming within the sealed environment of the Tiangong Space Station. During May 2023, astronauts aboard the Shenzhou-15 mission conducted microbial sampling across multiple surfaces within Tiangong, including air filters, walls, equipment panels, and personal workspaces. These swabs were later analyzed on Earth using genetic sequencing, biochemical profiling, and advanced microscopy techniques. What the scientists found was entirely new. Among the collected samples was a previously unidentified bacterium genetically close to Nealia circulans, a species once classified under the Bacillus genus. The newly discovered strain demonstrated notable differences. It had undergone enough changes to be classified as a novel species and was named Nealia tiangongensis to honor its orbital birthplace. Nealia tiangongensis displayed characteristics not observed in its Earth-based relatives. It was spore-forming, which gives it a natural advantage in harsh conditions, and its ability to resist radiation and oxidative stress suggested it had adapted specifically to the space station's unique environment. Genetic sequencing revealed that its metabolic profile had shifted, enabling it to survive on limited resources such as gelatin, which it broke down to use as both carbon and nitrogen sources. What made this discovery especially compelling was the uncertainty around its origin. Scientists could not conclusively determine whether the bacteria evolved these traits while on the Tiangong station or whether it already possessed them before launch. This uncertainty emphasizes the need for long-term studies tracking microbial evolution in space over time. In terms of scale, Tiangong is approximately 20% the size of the International Space Station, but it has already supported over 180 experiments. Its more compact and modern layout offers a distinct environment compared to other orbital labs, which could explain the microbial divergence observed. Space is not a forgiving environment. From the moment a spacecraft launches, everything on board, including microbes, faces extremes. Microgravity, radiation, confined habitats, artificial atmospheres, and mechanical sterilization. In such conditions, organisms must either adapt or perish. Nealia tiangongensis has adapted, and its transformation offers a case study in accelerated microbial evolution. One of the most surprising traits of this bacterium is its resistance to ionizing radiation. Cosmic rays in low Earth orbit pose a serious threat to biological tissue, yet Nealia tiangongensis not only survived this radiation exposure but showed signs of thriving in it. Laboratory tests revealed that it could repair its DNA after being damaged by radiation. But unlike those organisms, which evolved over millennia in Earth's extreme environments, Nealia tiangongensis likely adapted within the relatively short time span of space missions. Another major adaptation is its ability to form biofilms, dense microbial communities that produce a sticky, protective layer. In space, biofilms are more than just a survival mechanism. They're a defensive structure against oxidative stress, sterilizing agents, and temperature fluctuations. On Tiangong, this would allow the bacteria to adhere to metallic and polymer surfaces, endure periodic cleaning cycles, and protect itself from oxygen variability within the cabin. Beyond what it gained, the bacterium also streamlined what it no longer needed. It lost the ability to metabolize certain sugars and energy sources that were irrelevant to the space station's environment. In evolutionary terms, that's an efficient use of resources. A form of metabolic specialization that reflects how life recalibrates itself when environmental constraints are sharply defined. These traits are particularly important given how space changes the behavior of all organisms. Microgravity alters fluid dynamics, cellular growth, and gene expression. This impacts not only microbes, but also humans. 
The behavior of Nialia Tyangongensis in orbit suggests that evolution can proceed at a much faster pace under these altered physical forces. It doesn't need thousands of years, it may only need months. The emergence of Nialia Tyangongensis is not only a breakthrough in microbiology, but a warning flag and an opportunity rolled into one. On one side, it highlights the need for robust microbial monitoring in future missions. On the other, it opens doors to practical innovations in biotechnology, medicine, and environmental protection. Let's begin with spacecraft systems and astronaut health. Aboard stations like Tiangong or the ISS, crews operate in sealed ecosystems. These spaces recycle air, water, and waste. Any microorganism that adapts to that closed-loop system poses potential challenges. While Nialia tyangongensis is not currently classified as harmful, its Earth-based relatives have been associated with occasional wound infections. The close quarters of space habitats could allow such organisms to proliferate, especially as astronauts' immune systems weaken over time in microgravity. Moreover, biofilm formation isn't just a survival tool, it's a risk to onboard equipment. Biofilms can corrode materials, reduce air filter efficiency, and even compromise sensors in extreme cases that could interfere with life support systems. This makes understanding their behavior essential for mission safety and spacecraft design. Now consider the biotech potential. The same traits that make Nialia Tyangongensis resilient in space could be harnessed here on Earth. For example, hospitals could use biofilm-derived coatings to fight resistant bacteria on surfaces. Pharmaceutical companies might explore its DNA repairing enzymes to develop treatments for radiation exposure. Agricultural applications could emerge from its ability to survive in minimal nutrient environments, offering insight into crop resilience in poor soil conditions. There's also a planetary protection angle. Agencies like NASA, ESA, and CNSA follow strict protocols to avoid forward contamination, unintentionally sending Earth microbes to other planets. But as we've seen, even the cleanest environments aren't foolproof. Study revealed that NASA's clean rooms used during the Phoenix Mars lander mission harbored 26 previously unknown microbial strains. If hardy microbes like Nialia tyangongensis can survive sterilization procedures and then mutate further in space, they might reach other worlds before we even detect them. This complicates the search for extraterrestrial life. If Earth-born microbes adapt to foreign environments, they could produce false positives or interact with native ecosystems in unpredictable ways. Missions to Mars, Europa, or Titan must now account for microbial evolution as an active factor, not just contamination. At the core, Nialia tyangongensis represents how space doesn't merely preserve life, it reshapes it. Nialia tyangongensis is more than a scientific curiosity. It's proof that life adapts even in the harshest places. Its discovery aboard Tiangong challenges our assumptions about microbial behavior, spacecraft safety, and planetary exploration. From potential breakthroughs in medicine to new protocols in space hygiene, this tiny organism could reshape how we prepare for life beyond Earth. As we push further into the cosmos, it's clear we're not just exploring the unknown, we're bringing life along with us. Understanding how life evolves in orbit may be key to unlocking safer, smarter, and more sustainable missions in the future. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.